Lenovo has been cooking, and today served us with a new community forum and Legion space update for the Legion Go, which brings our version number up to 1.0.2.9, so let's dive in and take a look at what's changed. To download the new update, open Legion Space with the left Legion button and after a brief moment the update will begin to download. Here we'll be prompted to agree and install. Wait for this to finish as well as your controller firmware updates. Once these have been completed we can check our Legion Space version number by simply clicking on settings and in the general tab. 1.0.2.9 will now be displayed in our current version and about sections. Let's run through the changes within Legion Space. Inside the controller tab, the ability for button mapping support has been added, and when we choose Edit, the ability to add and edit layouts for gamepad and FPS mode is now available. Remapping our buttons to controller and mouse buttons, keyboard keys and key combinations have all been added, except for the Xbox button, which will be included in a future update. With these buttons remapped, we can also change button mapping profiles from the right menu to any we have previously created and edited. A charge limiting toggle has been added inside the general tab, within settings under optimize battery charging. When we select this, our battery charge will stop at 80% and these are system wide settings across operating systems. If you're conscious about the health of your battery long term, this might be something to consider taking advantage of. For our Legion right menu, an Alt and Escape button has been added to the Quick Settings tab so we can switch between applications without a pop-up appearing, unlike Alt and Tab where a pop-up will appear when switching apps. A link to the Legion Go community forum has been added in the Help tab where you can sign up, post and comment if you have feedback to share with the teams at Lenovo or if you require support with the Legion Go. Driver updates inside Legion Space have been optimised and now list some of the currently installed versions. The FPS limiter control has been optimised and is now fully customisable on a single sliding scale to any value between 30 and 144 FPS. However, our FPS limit will be disabled when toggling on RSR Radeon Super Resolution, and we will now receive a notification to remind us that this change is in effect. Plug and unplug notifications have been optimised whenever we detach and reattach the controllers from the Legion Go. An issue has also been fixed where the Legion LNR keys were being invalidated under admin accounts in Windows. Moving on from the list of changes in the new update, it is noted that the Xbox button will be able to be mapped in the future and per game profiles, although we can name a profile for a specific game and switch to it manually already. However, it should be expected for these improvements to take longer than usual. Better gyro implementation is also mentioned as being another major priority for the team and something that we can hope to see more of in the future. It has been stated that a UI overhaul and structural adjustments for Legion Space are coming in the future as major priorities for the teams, and I'm excited to see what they create, especially considering the amount of added functionality since the launch of the device. Lastly, a new graphics driver update for Legion Go has been marked as coming relatively soon, and the bug holding up the release has been identified, and the teams are working to fix and test this before releasing the first graphics driver in 2024. The features, optimizations, and improvements the Legion Go has received since launch have been very positive in my experience, whilst observing feedback and throughout the many weeks and months of using the device. However, I do believe that Lenovo is currently focused on the Legion Space UI overhaul, listed as one of their major priorities coming in the future, which has the potential to encompass everything added so far, with the benefits of snappier navigation a more efficient design and the potential for more features and it may be some time until we see the Legion Go team's results from this hard work. It has been mentioned regarding your feedback that it has shaped the evolution of the Legion Go and 
is a driving force behind its innovation. It is important to make your voice heard either through the Legion Gaming Community Forum, Legion Go subreddit, or the Legion Go Discord server, which are all linked in the description. As always, thank you all very much for watching, and please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more news, tutorials and gameplay videos, as this tells me that you enjoy the content and motivates me to create more videos for you to all enjoy. Until next time, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.